Hello, Sag. This is Brandy from Brandy's 29 Tarot. This is your general reading for the beginning of September 2020. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not. When we get to a thousand subscribers, I will start raffling off free personal readings from me. Right? Because I don't pay YouTube to get there, so I appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Also, you can find me on Purple Ocean. You can find me on mediumchat.uk. All right, and you can find my personal link down below. So let's jump in. If this is not part of your puzzle, please don't make those pieces fit. All right, whew, we got gratitude, the void, and blossoming. Okay, you honestly, you may be linked to a Leo because they kind of had the, almost the same message. So that the video is up too. But you need to have gratitude. Uh, for something that's going on because it's almost like crumbling with the void like you don't Know what to do with yourself right now, which is, is usually like wait one week There's nothing that can be done right now The answers come in one week and that's when things start to come together for you Okay, but it's something like Your grandma passed down to you, your mom passed down to you, your grandpa there's something here within the wisdom that they gave to you. You need to be grateful for to take that advice. If you remember it is what I'm laying down for you. What I'm picking up, what I'm laying down. All right. Let's uh, clarify these. So, so I like to kind of intertwine them because love and life go hand in hand. Let's not lie. You're messed up with love. You know, your finances are bad. It affects your love life, stuff like that. So take it how it goes for you, okay? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, can you please clarify gratitude for me? Spirit. We got the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords. Mm. I pick up from that is like, you know, shit's happening. Things are having to go, whether that's a loss of a job, you've saved some money, that's why you're a little grateful because you felt it coming. Right? It's a shock. It's a surprise. It could also be something good, though. Because the High Priestess is a good or bad. And then the Four of Wands can be a relationship coming to an end that you need to be grateful for because it's not been the greatest. Um, it could be good news, like a shock. And now you're letting go of, like, the bad negative thoughts. Like, this is a general, guys. So, personals are different. So we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse for the Void. Okay. We have the Page of Swords. This is not... I mean, I guess the Void isn't the greatest though either, is it? And then we have the Ace of Wands, which is one week as well. Signifies one week. And then we have the Hangman at the bottom. So literally, nothing you can do at this moment. Okay? You can't really release anything. You're having to learn from it. Okay, and in this one week of trying to see in a different perspective, Sag, that's when you get this inspiration. That's when you see the different route that you can take or the problem solving or, you know, your answer comes to you, right? Or this extension, someone extends like this message to you or this offer, um, the sexual whatever, okay? The same for children, so... You've been waiting to hear from someone, right? You've been in the void. What the hell's going on? And then they reach out to you. Like I said, it goes wherever. wherever. All right. Uh, they're falling everywhere. Oh, my goodness gracious. You can follow me on Instagram, too, at ToriandTarot84. All right. Can you please clarify blossoming for Sag? Don't forget to hit that. Or wherever the hell it goes. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I always tell people at the beginning of my personal is just, I don't feed you rainbows and kittens. I feed you what I see, what I hear. So, blossoming. We got the Queen of Earth. Woohoo! We got the Empress. And we got the Eight of Coin. Right? Eight of Earth. Damn. You can see this come in. You literally know. You've laid down that groundwork. You've put in that work. You feel those seeds growing, right? 
but I also feel like someone's in like their eighth trimester, like their eighth month of um, pregnancy. Bless you if you are. Congratulations. I think it's a girl. <laughs> so that being said, or your six months, your six to eight months, but nonetheless, you're doing good, baby girl. You're doing good. No. <sighs> This is really nourishing your home and your business. Mm-hmm. Things you've you've put time into and stuff. Man. They are about to give birth. Straight up. This is great for Sagittarius. This is like, okay, you go through some bullshit. You gotta learn to be grateful. You gotta see it in a different perspective. And then, boom. Boom. Because you knew you had to wait, right? You knew you had to wait for this to like come around and here it is putting down that work baby Woo! <laughs> sorry sorry I don't normally have any drinks and I decided to go out uh, with my friend and I'm only three deep and I'm ridiculous so I'm pretty much a lightweight anymore <laughs> don't stop my ability though all right can we we're gonna get love messages now and this can be applied still anywhere I have love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's safe for you to love. Wedding. Blossoming. Honeymoon. Why do I feel like someone's doing this backwards? Like, you guys got pregnant and now, <laughs> and now you're going to get married. Which is cool. Everyone does that nowadays. But it's like, it is safe. For you to take this venture, I'm going to apply it in this way and then I'm going to do the love way. It's safe for you to trust and have faith in the steps you've taken for this business or your home. Something about your finances, okay? Definitely a good way because you're going to be able to enjoy the bliss of that soon. You're definitely going to be in the contract. You're going to be tied to it and it's beautiful. Now, if you are in a relationship or whatever, you've learned to love yourself. You have learned to take care of yourself, your home, your structure. Okay, and now, now when you're like, what the hell? I've put all my work in. Like, I've sent this to the universe. Like, why is this stagnant? One week. One week from when you watch this, because that's when you're drawn to this. One week. Eight days at the max. You're going to see that come in. You're going to be like, damn, that was fast. That was fast. Right. Flirt at the bottom. You know, you just need to keep extending that lighthearted energy. Keep having that faith in the process. Go through the stagnant energy. See in a different way and be grateful when it comes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. See you later.